I don't feel very safe here. Just wind and creaking and noises. Are you done? <laughs> Everybody, my name is Ninja Bob, the King of Boz, and today I got a very special episode for you today. I am in a treehouse. This is my treehouse, by the way. I'm going to be telling you guys uh, a story. This is actually going to be a new little thing I'm going to be doing on my channel if you guys want me to do. Let's get on with the story. This is a very particular story. It's not like any other story, okay? This story was about my art teacher. My art teacher... At the time, this is just the first day, by the way, first day of that class. I'm a freshman in high school at this time. So she gives us an assignment, like all teachers do. And she just gives us a piece of paper. And this piece of paper has got a special level of instructions that you have to follow. I follow it to the level that I thought that it was meant to be followed, apparently. I failed at what I was supposed to do. I misunderstood. So, everyone else is drawing these little fancy pictures that they're supposed to be drawing. And I drew a Shrek. A beautiful, glorious, sh green beast known as Shrek. I love this Shrek. The Shrek was my be most greatest creation ever. Probably the most... It, it just beats it hands down. That's exactly what Shrek was. And so, I presented it to the teacher. And the teacher just... Looks at it like this. Hmm. This is a nice thing. A thing? A thing! She calls my Shrek a thing. What uncultured animal has not seen Shrek? Okay? That is where I drew the first line. So, she continues to talk about my drawing. So what is it? So I tell her... I tell her it's a Shrek. And she goes, Oh, okay. This is not the way you were supposed to do it. I knew that, uh, it, that I did something wrong. Because when I looked over there and she saw the picture, she could tell that she was a bit confused. I can see why she would be confused. So I say, ma'am, could I have a second chance? Uh, I didn't understand the paper. And she just looks at me and goes, the paper? said it specifically how you're supposed to do it so that you don't get a second chance you get it once and you failed so there what i mean why why would you do that i don't know i mean okay so she so that's that's basically what she was trying to do and i'm not exaggerating either that's exactly what was going on she would not give me a second chance even though i misunderstood the directions so here we are, we're getting into a little he a little bit of an argument. I'm uh, getting heated every little minute that she keeps talking to me. Because I know that I could get it right if I got a chance to do it a second time. Because I couldn't understand. I was reading it, and I'm not very good at reading, okay? I'm going to be posting a siege video very soon, and you'll see how terrible my reading really is. So anyway, I tell her. I apologize, and I walk to my desk, and you know, I was still heated from this argument. I really was. I, I thought to myself, how dare you, woman? I drew a Shrek, and I don't get a second chance to fix my mistake. How dare you? How dare you? So right here, I had a water bottle. I had to open this one up. Because I was thirsty, and I was trying to clean some stuff in this place, because this place is filthy! But, this place, this bottle bottle, wasn't opened. It was full of water. And I was sitting in front of Big Willie. Or at the time, I've called him William. Big Willie plays with me in video games, he's been in videos before, so you know who he's at. You ever get a chance to talk to him, he will clarify that this actually happened. Me! Being a freshman in high school, 
was still under the impression that I had been wronged. And I wanted to get revenge. So the little middle school, middle schooler that was still in me, wanted to get even at this woman. So I grabbed my water bottle. I opened it up. And then the bell rang. And everyone started leaving. And my brain, my brain hold, got a marvelous idea. I walked over to the desk with the water bottle. And I just set it like this. And let the water just spew out everywhere. And now it's on my pants. I have made a mistake. I cleaned up the mess! Anyway, guys, as I was saying, I had the water bottle pulled over to where it was laying on its side, like I did before, kind of like this, and let the water just pour out all over her desk, her papers, and yes, her chair. Just like it did to me and my pants. Anyway! Basically, I walk out of that classroom. William is busting a gut because he said because he thinks to himself, "I can't believe my friend Jacob actually did this." But I was I was still I was still upset. But I felt like I got my fair share of due revenge. So I walked out and I was getting ready to go to my next class. In my next class, me and William also were in the same classroom at the time. We both got called to to the art room. I knew that we were caught, but I was thinking of particular ways to get out of it. Because that's what you do in a situation when you get caught. You try everything you can to get out of it. But then, my friend William and two other girls were pulled into it. My conscience begins to speak to me. And it goes, you can't let these guys take the fall for something you did. So let's just, let's just confess, get it over with, you know. I mean, what are they going to do? It's just a water bottle, right? You know, just then. What I didn't know was another one of my friends. I, can't, I didn't know this happened. But one of my friends also got into an argument with this same teacher. And he unscrewed the bolts out of this teacher's chair. At this, on the same day that I pulled the water on her desk. So she walks in there. And her chair just explodes. And she just goes flying off the chair. It just looks a little something like this. Water! Water went everywhere! Me and William, at this particular moment, are just trying our very best. <laughs> We're trying our very best not to push the gun at what we just saw. <laughs> and I can still picture it. Anyway, so basically, What's going on? She gets the chair. It's covered with water. And it's making one of those water streaks with the wheels. As she brings the water, as she brings the chair to the room next door and grabs a fresh chair. She is just a level mad as I was when she got on to me for what, uh, about the paper. She just comes out there. I'm just thinking to myself, again, I'm still trying to, not to laugh at her at this point, but it was really dang hard. So I kind of just surrendered myself. I said, I apologize. I am the one that poured the water on your chair. I surrender. So I get taken to the office and I apologize, of course, for what I did. And I just got sentences. It wasn't even that many. It was just sentences. I just had to do them once. Because I was friends with 
the principal at that particular time. I didn't expect that to happen at all. My friend didn't even get caught either. The only reason I got caught was because at the end of the water bottle, it left a circle on our desk. So they particularly knew that it was us because it was just like the almost it was like the second to last class of the period. So it, it was also very fresh too. So I left evidence and I was caught. But so basically, um, I am uh, a couple of days or you no, know, like a couple of weeks after that. I'm at the office because I'm waiting for my grandmother to come pick me up from my school. So I am just sitting there with all my backpack, you know, my iPad, you know. I'm just kind of watching videos, you know, just. His iPad's really jiggly. So, she comes in, and she starts talking to the person that was supposed to be running the desk, the front desk of the office. And she starts nagging about how all of her students that get on her nerves, she wished she could just send them all to the office. And so she looks, and I'm, I mean, I'm like, I don't think she knows I'm here, really. But she starts talking about the thing that I did to her, and she thinks I also did the thing with the chair. I couldn't take credit for that, but I really wanted to, but I didn't. So she starts saying, I just wish that when we send our kids to the office, that they would get pushed the way they're supposed to be punished. Because we go out there and I can't even rely on the principal to punish this person the way it's supposed to be punished. And they're getting away with all kinds of stuff. And she is going off. She's going off. And so she happens to look over to her right and she sees me on my iPad. And I look at her. And I put my iPad on the floor. Prop my feet up. Put my hands behind my head, and I looked at her right back, stared in the eyes. <laughs> and I just basically gave her the face of, I won. I'm sorry. I will be more than happy to do that again if you dare make fun of my Shrek drawing. No one makes fun of my Shrek. No one. So anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoy that little goofy uh, thing. I, I want to do I want to do more of this, you know, talk about stories and stuff like that. Uh, I wanna, you know, I've got an imagination. Um, that that the story I just told you wasn't fake though. That actually did happen. But if you guys want me to make up stories or continue telling stories that actually happened to me, let me know down in the comments down below. This was very fun to make. And um yeah, if you guys want more, hit that like button. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I really want you guys to keep watching this kind of content because I think it would bring much joy to your lives. And if not, then let me know what you want. You're like kids that never tell me what they want for Christmas. And then it's up to me to go to Walmart and go buy a random gift that I don't even know if you like. That's how I feel when you don't tell me what you want to see in the videos. So please... Avoid that. I think there's a bee in here. That's a fly. My bad. I got scared. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Freaking light. I killed it. I killed it. I killed the bug. The bug is dead. Ding dong. The witch is dead. The witch is dead. It is dead.